my name is Amanda. My name is Matthew. And we are a small world. Yes. So today we are trying some local restaurants that are doing delivery service. And we're gonna rate them. Why are we doing this? Coronavirus. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! Everybody's getting really tired of not eating out, and I miss eating at these nice restaurants. And I'm getting tired of cooking at home every day. And the other reason why we are doing this is to help local business. Lots of local restaurants, pubs, they're not getting the business they would usually get. So some of them might be struggling and it's really important to support them in these difficult times. Keeping a voice strong. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about our criteria for rating these restaurants. So the first one will be price. Is it cheap? Is it expensive? Is it worth paying for it? Number two will be quality. Quality includes a lot of things. So that's going to be the quality of the food, whether it's hot or cold, whether it's similar to the experience you would get in the restaurant, also the quantity, the quality of the packaging, things like this. The third one will be service. Are you know, the staff friendly? Is it easy to order? And personal touch. Are they like writing you a message or giving you, you know, an extra? And the last thing we're going to look at is the menu. How wide is the menu? Is there a lot of variety? Are there unique items on the menu you can only get at this restaurant? Are there vegetarian options, vegan options? These things are really important to our community. Yes. So over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be ordering food from five different restaurants. So when we were asking for recommendations, the very first thing that came up on every single post was yes. the Monte Arms. Yes, even like my Brazilian friends were recommending it. And this is how it went. The Monte Arms is a British style pub a short walk from Atsuta Jingu and Jingu Nishi Station. It's a local favourite with British expats, fish and chips and imported English beers. It's got a cult status in Nagoya and a lot of our friends really like this place so we're really looking forward to showing you the food here at the Monte Arms. If you'd like to order some of the food to yourself we'll put some of the information to contact them at the end of this video. えっと、今日ってまだデリバリーってできますかあ、大丈夫ですかはい。本当ですかタケジン。Look, this is huge. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. This is chips. I ordered extra chips because I thought it would be small, but look, it's huge. This one is fish and chips. Also huge. Look at this. Whoa! Fish and chips. It's as big as your arm. Oh my god, this is so heavy. I got a falafel bowl. It's like a shoebox. It's huge. It's so much. And that's what we got. We have a lot of food. Okay, so we got a spit fire. Real English egg. So the first thing we have to talk about is the uh, price. price. I ordered a falafel bowl. It was 750 yen. There's falafels, coriander, tomatoes, there's jalapenos, pickles, chips, cabbage, and it's vegan. How much are the chips? 500. 500 yen. I've got fish and, fish and chips here. The fish and chips was 900 yen. I would say that's a pretty damn good deal for the best fish and chips I think I've ever had. In, in Japan. Japan. Oh, in Japan. Not even in Japan. Total, how much did you pay? 2,950. That's a great deal. Yeah. And delivery? It was free because we live next to it. I don't like, we, we don't live that close to the place, but he said since it's close, he didn't charge. How much is the beer? 750. Of the real deal, imported beer. Again, I've never seen this <laughs> like anywhere else. Next thing you want to talk about quality. quality. All right, so I'm going to go straight ahead and have one of these chips. Mm. It's not piping hot, but then it's delivery food, so it's, it's what you would expect, I guess. The chips, they're not real English chips, but they're pretty good chips. How's the falafel? Yeah, the falafel is really nice. They have like a white sauce, I think it's like Caesar. And under the salad, there is salsa sauce. That is really, really nice. Cute little vinegar bites. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and try the, the fish now, which looks great. It's huge. I don't know how they do it, but this is the real deal. It's like real fish and chips. Packaging. It's yeah, okay. It's pretty good. I like these like, boxes. I've never yeah. seen these before. I really like that this paper is not plastic. Yeah. What about the service from... What about the staff? Uh, they were really nice on the phone and when they came here, they told us on the phone that it would take a while. So it took around an hour and a half. Definitely. If you're looking for some fast food, this is not the place. It takes kind of a while. But again, I think it's worth it for what you get. But they told us, so it was fine. They're nice people. They run the place. They're really nice, really friendly every time you go in there too. Yeah. Great service. The last item is the menu. We've got uh, pickles, chips, mushy, mushy peas. 
sandwich. So what did that? Uh, cheese and chips, fish and chips, lots of different varieties of chips, chicken and chips, shrimp and chips, fish and chips. Mm -hmm. They also have an English breakfast. Oh, wow. They also have some Indonesian food on the menu as well. I don't know why. Yeah, there's a lot of variety on here and everything under a thousand or just over a thousand. I think they have magnets. This menu is essential for any British person living in Nagoya. Yeah. There's so much stuff on here I have never seen anywhere else. A lot of vegetarian options yeah, too. Yeah, vegetarian can... options. They have this vegan option too, so it's really good. Overall, I'm really, really impressed yeah. with the ones they have. We had too much food. We got more chips too. I know. Value for money? Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs up. Do not order extra fries. This is a rare gem, I would say. A rare gem. On to the next one. If you want to order from Bermondsey Arms, just call them on this number. They deliver between 12 and 7 p.m. within Nagoya City. You can also contact them on social media. I hope you enjoy the food and see you in the next video. Yay!